your 2021 yearly forecast. I think a lot of people are ready for 2020 to end, but don't forget all the great things that did happen this year in spite of all the tragedy and heartache. And don't think that just because we're getting a whole new year that all those problems are going to magically disappear overnight. I think 2021 is going to be really exciting also. Hopefully it'll be more positive. So, you're going to have a full moon in your sign on February 27th, and a new moon in your sign on September 6th. Vesta is going to be in your sign from January 1st through July 19th, and it's going to be retrograde from January 19th until April 20th. Now, Vesta is all the sacrifices that you make. So, Virgo and Vesta, I think, are a good pairing of energy because Virgo's fastidiousness and focus on daily routines and health can benefit from this reevaluation and change of paradigm that one gets from making sacrifices. Venus is going to be in your sign from July 23rd until August 16th. So you'll get like a nice romantic energy coming in for the summertime. Uh, Mars is going to be in your sign from July 30th until September 14th. So, much like Leo, you're going to get a lot of overlap between those two really passionate placements. And then Mercury will be in your sign from August 12th until the 30th.
so you get Leo, I will. Some of you may or may not have Leo in your charts as well. Leo is a very confident sign. It's a sun sign. I mean, a lot of people have sun signs, but uh, solar energy is associated with the sign of Leo. That's what I mean when I say that. We have the Two of Cups in the reverse. This could be a relationship ending, or it could be a new relationship coming in for you in 2021, but not in January. Leo is a very uh, romantic sign, though. We have the Nine of Cups in the reverse, and that is about happiness coming in as well. We have the Two of Swords also. This could be about a choice. Maybe you have to make the choice to be happy. We have the Eight of Swords here. This is about feeling like you're trapped, whether you're actually actually trapped or not. Because technically speaking, she could get up, but all these people have swords pointed directly at her. We have the Strength card in the reverse. This is Leo's card also. Um, so it's possible that all these things are coming to pass in the future. And in the month of January, you're just feeling a little bit trapped. But we do have the Death card also coming in for you at the end of January. I love, I guess that, um, I guess is that like, uh, Swiss or something, maybe one of these, um, Germanic languages. The, I guess the word for death is dude. So it looks like they're saying this guy's the dude. <laughs> if that's the language that you speak, I hope you don't take any offense. Please do feel free to take any liberties that you choose with English. I have no respect for my native tongue. <laughs> it's just like a big jumble. <laughs> Um, okay, so the next month, February. I wish they would make months easier to say. We have your Jupiter return. Benefits. This is about your successes coming into your life. It's about Jupiter returning, uh, your natal Jupiter sign returning to your current transit chart. We have the Princess of Wands in the reverse. We got a lot of strong Leo energy from uh, January. So this is, could be a Leo coming into your life in the future. Or this could be somebody who is um, in the month of February um, behaving in kind of a catty, selfish way in a self-centered sort of a way and not necessarily acting with any kind of forethought or malice, but only out of um, like a gut reaction. The princess energy being the lower vibration of the queen's energy. We have the three of pentacles here. So to me, and especially with this Jupiter return, Three of Pentacles is getting far enough into a career that people respect your opinion and your expertise. Expertise. And we have the Nine of Pentacles coming out in the reverse for that. So um, that could be foreshadowing that the Three of Pentacles is foreshadowing this Nine of Pentacles coming in for you in the future, but not in February. Yeah, we have this Three of Swords coming out too. Uh, so that Princess of Wands is starting to look a little more malevolent. Um, 
And we also have the Queen of Wands showing up in the reverse. Um, so I feel like there's somebody who's being really catty and um, very selfishly motivated person. And because the Princess of Wands and the Queen of Wands are showing up, that tells me that not, our, not only are they using forethought and malice in their actions, but that they could also be um, incredibly immature. But I wouldn't worry too much about that because you have the chariot showing up here in the reverse, which means that probably you will eventually have victory over this situation. This situation. This situation. Let's look now, Virgo, at your month of March. Month of March. We have the seventh house coming out now, which is about partnerships. Um, and also uh, pay attention, especially those of you who have Pisces or Aries in your seventh houses. We have the chariot coming out here in reverse again. So I think, um, so for some of you, that just means that you're going to have to wait longer for your victory, but it could also mean that there's a decisive action that occurs um, toward the end of February and the beginning of March where this person really screws you over. Um, so watch out for that. But we do have the star coming in immediately after that. Immediately after that. Okay. So what that means is um, you are reaching your goals. You are achieving the things that you have set out to do. This is also Aquarius's card, so maybe you have an Aquarius acquaintance, Aquarius acquaintance, or maybe one of your other uh, major placements is Aquarius. But because we have the seventh house showing up here, it does speak to me of a partnership with someone else. It doesn't have to be a romantic partnership. Sorry, I almost sneezed. I had a nose tickle. We have the Eight of Wands, so there will not be swift closure to whatever this situation is. So it's possible, too, that the chariot is just showing up here to emphasize that you will eventually have victory over this person, but it's going to take a long time. We have a Princess of Wands showing up here again as well. And the Prince of Swords in the reverse. So the Prince of Swords is air of air energy. Um, so moving kind of quickly, but definitely he's got um, all these implements for cutting. So I think there's something here about cutting someone or something out of your life forever. And we have the Three of Pentacles showing up again for you here. So, um, one of the things that I've noticed doing tarot readings is that from month to month, there can be a lot of repetition because a lot of situations take months and months and months to both develop and resolve. And so that's why you'll see a lot of the same cards coming out for the same uh, quarter, quarterly part of the reading. Let's look now at April. We have your fellow Earth sign Capricorn coming out here for April. April, 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 April. Capricorns being um, very... Uh, not just analytically minded, but practically minded. Um, I think the Virgos can be very 
neuroses. No offense. I love you guys. I'm a Virgo rising. I, my son's a Virgo. But um, Capricorns do not seem to have that same vulnerability. However, some Capricorns can be manipulative if they feel like they need to do that to get what they want. So perhaps in April, you will be acting more like a Capricorn than a Virgo. We do have the Princess of Pentacles coming out. This could be you. Um, it's about a money energy, a new kind of financial energy, or it could be just you expressing because the Princess of Pentacles too has Capricorn energy. So it could be about, um, especially if you have Capricorn in your chart. We have the Ace of Wands in the reverse, so I think there is a potential for something here creatively for you, or for you to enforce an aspect of your will, but that it's not going to be happening in April, or it's not going to be happening in a fire sign kind of a way, which would be very direct. We have the King of Pentacles coming out here too, so a lot of Earth energy for you here in April. And um, the Princess and the King of Pentacles could feasibly both be aspects of your personality. The King of Pentacles being an established old money kind of an energy. Here we have the star coming out for you again. Again, here in the month of April. So, um, if you have an acquaintance who is an Aquarius, an Aquarius acquaintance, I think they're going to be spending a lot of time with you in March and April. We have the Ten of Chalices here, which is an emotional ending, um, but also an emotional complaint. So not necessarily an ending, but an ending to a cycle and the beginning of a new cycle coming in with the Ace of Chalices. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. Fortune turning now in your favor. So it's possible that now is when that victory will be occurring. But we'll have to see. We'll have to look at the rest of the year to find out. All right, Virgo. It's time to look at the month of May. Here in May, you have the ninth house coming out. So maybe some of you have Taurus and some of you have Gemini in your ninth house. Or it could just be a time where you are working to elevate yourself. This card does also say faith on it, but the ninth house is all of the things we do to elevate ourselves, whether it is travel or education or religion related, spirituality related, really more than religion. We have the judgment card here coming out in the reverse. So the judgment card in the reverse could be not feeling judged anymore. Or it could be having passed a trial by fire. We do also have the death card coming out again. So this could be a trial that began in January and then finally now in May you've passed the test. Passed the test. Passed the test. Passed the test. It's possible, too, that this has to do with career because you've had the Three of Pentacles come out a couple times in between. We have the Emperor in the reverse. This could be somebody with fascist tendencies or who is acting in a totalitarian fashion towards you as far as authority is concerned. This could also be if you're being too rigid with others. And we have him coming out not once, but twice. Twice. Twice, twice, twice. The emperor comes 
out in the rivers. So there's definitely like some kind of oppressive situation going on, whether that is you against other people or someone else against you. The Ten of Swords in the reverse. This could be a catastrophic ending. And the Two of Swords. I feel like there is something going on here in May where somebody is taking control of your life and making decisions for you. Let's look here at June. June. Cancer, I feel, and actually, um, some of the Cancer birthdays are at the end of June, so very appropriate for Cancer to come out for that month, but Cancer is all about your deeper feelings and emotions, and also how the ebb and flow of the moon can affect your emotional cycles as a person, and being made 80% out of water. So we have the Two of Pentacles coming out. This is a restoration of balance and it's followed by the Empress seizing control back from whoever this Emperor figure is. We have the Magician here too and because the Magician card is showing up in the reverse, it could either be that you have an extra trick up your sleeve or that um, you were trying to manifest something and because of what happens in May, you're not able to make that come to fruition. But we do have the Six of Wands here, which is a victory card. So this could be um, a victory over this situation that we saw back here in February and March um, with all this Princess of Wands energy. We have the Seven of Pentacles coming out here, which says that it's going to take a lot of hard work to manifest whatever it is that you're trying to create, or it's going to take a lot of hard work to get the project started and maintain the project that you would like to have going. And here we had previously the... Uh, Prince of Swords in the reverse, and now we have the Knight of Swords coming out in the reverse. So again, um, this could be related to this situation where you had to cut something out of your life, but um, it's possible here that the Knight of Swords is bringing new ideas in, but they're not going to come in in June. Let's look now at July. July, 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 July. So we have the solar eclipse coming out, and that speaks of revolution, 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 revolution. Solar eclipses are very powerful, especially if you are able to be right in the path of totality. We have the Hermit coming out. It's possible that the time for contemplation for you is over. That it's time to come down from the mountain and speak your truth. We have the Eight of Swords in reverse. You're not trapped anymore. We have the Three of Wands in reverse. It could be that there is something that you're waiting for that has not arrived yet. On top of all the great blessings that you will be receiving um, in the first part of the year. Because even though I see some difficult interpersonal issues, I really do see a lot of good things coming in for you, Virgo, as far as the first half of the year is concerned. The tower in reverse, this could be a massive change coming through, and solar eclipses definitely um, mirror the tower energy. Nine of cups in the reverse, so it's possible that there's...
there is going to be a massive change for you. And that massive change is going to be what brings in your wish fulfillment. And then finally, we have the fool in the reverse. Um, don't go into this with your eyes closed. Go into it fully aware and able to think for yourself, make decisions for yourself, and, um, and see everything that's going on around you. Let's look here at August. Some of you are going to have birthdays in late August. We have the North Node. I think a lot of people next year are going to be contemplating their life's purpose, the reason why they are here, and what they want to do with what they've been given. We have the High Priestess in reverse. This could be about the secrets coming out, or it could be about you not having the information that you need at this time. We have the Five of Wands. This could be leaving unhealthy rivalries behind you. We have the Seven of Cups. This is all about things that are possibilities for your future, um, being large and present in your mind. Now, the thing about the Seven of Cups is that not all of those things are real. And furthermore, not all of them are good. Not all of them are things that you actually want. We have the Knight of Cups. This is somebody who is being controlled by their emotions or lets their emotions dictate their actions. We have the Ace of Wands here again in the reverse. So when we first saw the Ace of Wands in your reading, it was up here in the month of April, right? Where we also had the Wheel of Fortune. Um, you're hanging out with this friend, possibly, who is an Aquarius acquaintance. Um, and this was also where the Knight and Princess of Pentacles were showing up for you. So it's possible that all of these situations are going to be uh, coming up again here in August, or that aspects of those situations are going to mirror or echo what ends up happening in August. And we have the Hermit coming out again, this time in the upright. So I think what's going to end up happening is that in July, you're going to start thinking about taking a retreat or a sabbatical. And then toward the end of August, maybe even for your birthday, for example, you're going to end up taking that sabbatical. All right, Virgo, let's find out about September. So September is going to be a birthday month for some of you. Not all, as we mentioned before. Some Virgos are born at the end of August. We have Gemini energy coming out for you here in September. So some of you might have Gemini in your charts. Um, and that's all about communication and thinking any of those traits. It can also be about duality. Duality, 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 duality. We have the Four of Swords in the reverse. Um, so it's possible that with this hermit energy, uh, you want to retreat and rest, but you end up having to do a lot of work on yourself. We have the Strength card in the reverse. Now, um, that is Leo's card, so this could be, again, this uh, Princess of Wands situation coming up for you again, um, and you having to deal with that with yourself. But it could also be about not having the strength or um, fortitude for something in particular. And we have a Ten of Swords, so there could be a um, ending here as well in the month of September. 
We have the Two of Pentacles upright. That's about balance. And we have the Two of Pentacles over here in the month of June as well. So, um, I mean, Virgos tend to be, even though there may be sometimes a tendency toward neuroses, Virgos do tend to be very balanced because they're earth signs and they're grounded. We have the Princess of Pentacles coming back out here again, too, in September. So, uh, that Gemini card that came out, I do think that is about duality because there's, um, you know, some things going on that maybe aren't as great, but then it looks like there are some things coming in that are much better. And I do think that you are represented by this Princess of Pentacles in this reading, possibly. And then finally, for September, we have the Ten of Wands in the reverse. And that is about a burden that is too heavy for you to bear. So that would be the strength in reverse as well. Or it could be um, an oppression that you're unwilling to bear as well. Let's look here. We have the eighth house showing up here. That is about endings and beginnings. So, um, a lot of people have been getting the twelfth house card here in October, but you actually get the eighth house card here. And so that tells me that a new cycle will definitely be beginning for you by the end of the year. Um, the eighth house is death, sex, and other people's resources, and I think other people's resources has been an ever-present part of your life throughout the year in 2021. We have the six of pentacles in the reverse. That can have to do with resources, um, charity, being granted to you or you granting charity to others. Um, so there might be a lack of charity here in the month of October, or it could be like if you have been on unemployment throughout the year of 2021, maybe your unemployment ends in October or something like that. Or perhaps you received um, some kind of help in the past. But we also have this uh, Queen of Wands energy coming out, which this time is in the upright. Um, so that looks a little more complicated because it could be that you cut off um, some kind of charity that you were giving to this person back here and now they're trying to come back and make nice. Or it could be a different person. It could be a different person who's a fire sign. Or this person could be a, um, a very confident and um, gregarious individual, like a social butterfly kind of a person, but different from this other person. Um, let's see what else. We have the Two of Wands. So we had the Two of Wands, I think back here. Is that correct? I thought I remembered the two of wands in this reading, but that must not have been the case. Okay, so um, this two of wands here is about um, taking potential energy and making it into kinetic action. It's a card of converting into an action phase. And because it's here with this Queen of Wands, it could be that this person brings action into your life or that you are taking action. You're being confident 
and putting yourself out there. We also have the Three of Wands showing up, so we did have the Three of Wands back, okay, yeah, we had the Three of Wands back here in July, so whatever that was that you were waiting for is going to be coming in in October. And again, we have uh, this mirroring, we have the Seven of Cups coming in here, and, um, Maybe I'm just confusing the reading. Oh, this is weird. I was on such a flow. Okay, so the Seven of Cups is all about these illusions, and maybe some of these things are real possibilities for your future, and maybe some of them are things that you don't actually want at all. And so, um, having them here in front of you, but, uh, because the card is in the reverse, I think that, um, actually your options might be quite limited. Quite limited, quite limited. So now, here we have the Queen of Pentacles coming out in the reverse. And this might be a progression for you, where you're not the Queen of Pentacles yet, but very soon you will be. And it could be that a lot of these Seven of Cups uh, options will be opening up for you in the near future. So coming out here for you in November is the Sun card. Solar energy is all about the self, the ego, the spirit. We have the Seven of Pentacles, which is about a lot of hard work required for the desired paid off. We have the Nine of Swords in the reverse. And the Nine of Swords is about um, anguish, it's about nightmares, it's kind of about psyching yourself out, whether or not those things are actually threats. And um, in this case, I think maybe you aren't worried enough about something, or it's possible that, um, that you just aren't worried about it. We have the Devil in the reverse. Now, alright, so... The devil in the reverse with the nine of swords in the reverse i think there's something that you need to be paying attention to that you should be more worried about than you are and because you're not that thing is taking over your life that thing might be taking control we have the queen of cups coming back into the picture now or coming into the picture now and um, this Queen of Cups energy could be um, about shutting yourself off from your emotions. Queen of Cups is water of water. We also have um, the Queen of Pentacles here in October, right next to the Queen of Cups reversed here in November. Um, so it could be... There is uh, something emotionally difficult going on for you in the month of November, and that it's stalling this Queen of Pentacles energy from coming in for you. We get the Devil in reverse twice here in November, so pay attention to that. There's something you're really allowing to control you. Um, and so the devil card is all about the vices, things that control us, um, but it doesn't have to be drugs or alcohol or sex or anything like that. It can literally be anything that you let take over your life, whether that is an obsession with video games or with even like, um, another person, if you start stalking someone, um, I mean, it could be just about anything. So it looks like for you in 
November, there's going to be an issue with that, which October was really promising. We do have the Seven of Pentacles here, um, which means that your obsession might become overwork because you really want to um, make whatever this is work. And you have this Queen of Cups coming out because it's wreaking havoc on your emotions. We have the Seven of Wands here too. And um, the Seven of Wands is about being besieged on all sides. And um, I think it's possible that that's not the case, but that you perceive it to be the case. All right, Virgo. Drum roll, please. Drum roll, please. Drum roll. Drum roll, please. So you're closing out the year with the fifth house of creativity. Some of you may have Sagittarius or Capricorn in your fifth house. All right, yeah, we have the Queen of Cups coming out here again for you in the reverse. I think um, your emotional states might not be great in November and December if you suffer from seasonal depression. Um, this looks a lot like seasonal depression, and so therefore you're kind of like trying to put your head down and just work through it. But I feel like this is something that you should really get professional help for, whether that means going on medication or getting a therapist's opinion. Obviously, I am not a therapist and I'm not giving you a medical opinion. This is part of the tarot reading and this is just what the cards say. This is for entertainment purposes. If it resonates with you, I encourage you to do what you feel like is appropriate. But I'm definitely not giving a medical opinion here. Um, but we do have the fifth house of creativity coming up here. Let's find out some more about that. We have the tower coming out in the reverse again. So this could be another change looming, 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 looming. So we had this tower show up here in July, but then we didn't have the ten of swords come out until September. So, um, I feel like that was that cycle, but there might be another cycle starting here in December, which makes sense. We had like an ending also in October and the start of a new cycle. We have the Nine of Wands here where um, you are defending your territory in some way. We also have the Magician coming out. So the Magician definitely resonates with that um, fifth house creativity energy. It's all about manifesting the life that you desire and it's showing up here for you in the upright. We have the Nine of Pentacles again coming out for you in the reverse. So we have the Nine of Pentacles back here in February. And... Um, it might have been in relation to this job situation in the early part of the year where you had the, the three of pentacles come out a couple of times. Um, but here at the end of the year, I think you're trying to manifest this nine of pentacles then in your future, which you kind of had a taste of back here in February. So a lot of those things are going to be coming back around again. And it definitely has to do with your creativity and your playfulness. Fifth house is about playfulness also, and it can be about children. So don't lose sight of those aspects of the fifth house in the month of December. And then finally, for you, we have the Hierophant coming out. This could be a future marriage or engagement. Um, it could be a rejection of the status quo because again, uh, your card is the hermit and the hermit is kind of like the flip side of the hierophant where um, the hermit is all about seeking the true, seeking the truth behind spirituality. And the hierophant is about maintaining moral status quo in a population, a spiritual population, being the leader, being the shepherd. So um, this might be an energy that you are moving 
moving into in 2021. But it could also just be that you feel like in order to achieve this Nine of Pentacles energy that you desire, that it is important for you to reject some of the moral edicts that have been placed on you. Thank you.